the most famous motor race in the world. Mark Webber, former world sports car champion, pulls off in the pace car. Two Toyotas on the front row, two Porsches on the second row. They're held under starters' orders, and it's green, and we are go for 2017. The Toyotas streak ahead off the start. It is a Toyota one and two. Mike Conway in the number seven car leads as they go up to the Dunlop chicane for the very first time. The Porsche, number one of Neil Yarny, tries to look and see if he can get through. The third Toyota hasn't had a great start as the LMP2 cars stream through. Already, the leading Toyota of Mike Conway has half a dozen car lengths. Yeah, he's disappeared. Neil Yanni's jumped into second place ahead of Sebastian Buemi in the second Toyota, but you're right. It's Lapierre that's dropped behind Ollie Webb in uh, the third one. Also, car number 49 drops straight into the pits. And in fact, that college car that was in fifth position is going slowly. The front looks as if it's dropped down. The nose has dropped down, and he's just pulling to the side. And the rest of the LMP2s are streaming past him. And uh, that, that could be a puncture on the left front as well. It is. That's uh, Ollie Webb in the uh, grey and yellow flashed liveried college car. The LMP2 cars, look at them battling, look at them battling. Ollie Jarvis leads into the first chicane. There is the college car. It's in trouble. The nose has been knocked. There's your leader, Conway, up the gear. Is building to a speed of over 210 miles an hour as he goes down the middle part of the Molstan Strait. He's gone through the first chicane, now towards the left, right, left chicane, which is the Michelin chicane. We're on board with the Signatec uh, Alpine, that's number 36, as he is trying to go around the outside in the middle of the pack of one of the SMP racing cars, mid-pack. A lot of work to do there for the number 36. Yeah, Jarvis jumped into the lead in that respect in LMP2, which is a very strong one, because they think in long runs through the course of this race, they're looking very good. To be in the lead at this point is uh, where they need to be. Mike Conway into the Molsan corner. There's his lead, green flag being shown, nothing in front of him. He's got a great clear run. Neil Jarney, the Swiss driver with the number one Porsche right behind him. Look at that. Look at the technology in those five cars. Look at the speed as we barrel it down to Indianapolis. It ain't going to get any better at Le Mans like this. Oh, we're going to have a few more hours of this one, though, Toby, as they're coming down flat out. And Conway's sort of checked out a little bit at the moment. I don't think that's a particular drama because Porsche were actually working their tyres a little bit differently. They were taking a little bit more cautiously on the outlap. So I think this is just a case of settling down on lap one right now. A look back from the second place Porsche of Neil Jarney. The camera on the shark fin on the rear of that car, looking back at number eight, Buemi, and then Timo Bernhard in the number two Porsche. He's in fourth position at the moment. Into the Porsche curves for the first time competitively in 2017. Yeah, very quick coming through here. As uh, you'll also, the circuits changed. They did a warm up this morning, so now they'll be trying to find out where the grip is. But obviously, with enough confidence, the fact they were absolutely flat out through the double left handers, that's at 270 kilometers per hour. And then now coming through the Porsche garage, you can see there Brendan Hartley and uh, Nick Tandy just having a little chat about it. But uh, right now, Conway's sort of taking a little bit of a break. Yanni still able to hold quite easily onto his second place with Buemi. The first lap completed by Toyota. The winners last year did 384 laps around this eight and a half mile circuit here in France. There is the leading GTE Pro Ferrari. That's uh, Alessandro Pierre Guidi ahead of Darren Turner and Nicky Team in their Aston Martins respectively. The leading Ford at the moment is in fourth place in class. The number 69, Richard Westbrook at the wheel in GTE Am. It's Fernando Ries in the art car, leading Pedro Lamy and Cairoli in the Dempsey Porsche. Yeah, we did talk about uh, Ferrari, Pierre Guidi, a young guy, young charger, definitely charged to the front. Darren Turner, uh, an older hand in the Aston Martin, sitting there in second. As uh, the Ford is pretty close up in his actually up into third place. Westbrook has now overtaken. No, he hasn't, sorry. No, no, no. It's actually still in fourth with Nicky Team in third. And uh, so right now it's sort of settled down there. But there's a stream of cars just running through in front of us. Our commentary box here. 